Hey, I'm Sandy X. This is my submission video for SGDQ 2020. I'm going to be running Oblivion no out-of-bounds, so I can't go out-of-bounds or perform any clips. The time starts when I click continue and go. So immediately I quit my spells. I'm going to need those later. And I'm in this cell. And I have about a minute until I have to do anything, so... You just kill some time. Play with the bones. Try to get him out of the cell. Uh, so the run is going to be a little bit different from last time as at GDQ. There's two big skips that were found that save about a minute each. And that allowed me to bring the world record down from when I had a 26 29 to a 24 30. Almost exactly two minutes. Uh, so here come the guards. So I'm just going to stand right here in front of this door. And I'm going to try to grab his leg through the gate. I'll make him come in early. I'll make him open the door. My job right now is to get you supposed. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to. And I'm going to hit him a few times to stop him in front of me. Never mind. It's kind of far away though, so I'll shoot far ball instead. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. I just want to aggro him, so that he'll run instead of walk. So I'm just setting that up. Please, sire, we must keep moving. And always click through dialogue as fast as I can. Better not close this one. There's no so, way to open it from the other side. Punch him. Turn around. Shoot him one more time. Say about the dialogue, I have left click down on my scroll wheel so I can click through it really fast just by scrolling. I'm gonna yield to her right I here. Kill these guys. Protect, protect the Set up for another aggro later. And this is new. Uh, this is a fail safe that they put in the game that says if you are a certain distance away from Boris, it will like make him walk to that door and spawn these rats early and break down this wall earlier. And we just abuse that. <laughs> you just walk away. And now we run through some tunnels. Kill a couple of these rats if they're in the way. You know what they say, when life gives you rats, make ratatouille. And anytime there's like an obstacle, you know, jump over it. <laughs> Made some ratatouille right there. Try to turn these corners as tight as possible. As close as you can. The most optimal movement. And just keep going. Close these tech boxes. I memorized where they're at and close them every time pretty quickly. Got the goblins when they're in the way. We just keep going. There's a nice little jump here. And this room coming up, it's going to have a little uh, AI manipulation. It's a bit tricky to explain. I'll do my, I'll do my best. So if I aggro Glenroy here, it's going to run and open the next door in that hallway. And... Go. There he is. Now he's going to open it. Now if I punch him, it's going to freeze the guys in the next room. And if I need to punch him to aggro him, too. And there's a body stuck in the door. So <laughs> you're hearing the noise. So I aggro him. And the guys in here, because I did that little manip, they're going to be frozen. It's a little side effect. They're sleeping. 
and now they're running towards me. They're just really far away right now. Okay. I need them to be right you here. May as well. So that the door will open. Okay, there it goes. I just want to push him down. Hold up. Down the stairs. Let me take a look. Push him as far as I can to the next spot he has to stand in. Now here's duping. Click on the arrows and drop scrolls and potions. Come on. I'll dupe them. Almost... And now you can scroll dupe. You just scroll dupe till you have a bunch. A bunch of these scrolls. 200 flash bolts. They're going to be real useful for more duping and shooting fireballs. I go in the emperor one more time and just lead him into this room where he's going to die. It's a little bit slow. Come with us. Okay. There he is. Now he duped the lockpicks and equipped the flash bolt. Ooh. I'm gonna punch him and kill Glenroy there. That's gonna aggro Boris and make him run into this room faster. Hopefully. It's a little bit weird. We'll see if it I works. Can go. Eh, almost. He goes a little bit faster than normal. Usually he just like stands there for like a couple seconds and then runs in. Kinda did it immediately though. And we just go down here. It's the last part of the sewer. There's a nice little barrel jump here. Saves a second. <laughs> and Exit the sewer. Okay. So now is where the run gets good. <laughs> we go down. Go to Breville. I'm gonna buy some skooma. Skooma makes you fast. So each bottle of skooma gives you 60 speed and 60 strength for 20 seconds. And I'm gonna do a little exploit to be able to drink eight at a time, rather than the usual five. Because normally it only lets you drink five, there's a limit. But you can get past that limit. Yes. If you drink four oh, quality goods. from your hotkey, and then another four from your menu, then you can drink eight. But after that, the game's already counted to five, so you can't do more than eight. So here I'm gonna dupe it. Pick up a few bottles, drop them again, pick up a few bottles, drop them again. And I'm only going to drink five here, because it's not a very long distance. I made that save there. I'm brother. That's useful for later, that's for load warping. Wait, and talk to Joffrey, tells us to waste no time. Oh, and that guy talked. It's going against what Joffrey said. He wasted time. So, now we're going to Kvatch, we're going to close the first Oblivion Gate, we're going to run up this hill, try to do that cool little jump, it's hard to get, it doesn't really matter though, you can just walk up the hill, it's about the same speed, instead of jumping over. And we skip these little gates here, normally you'd have to go all the way around. But since we can jump so far because we're moving so fast, you know, you just jump around them. Let me open these doors from as far away as possible. Even that one that actually opens rather than just triggers the loading screen. Let me run up. And here's a skooma jump. If I do this right. Get a big jump just like that. If I hit a little a ledge or like a piece of the ground that's like sticking out or something, uh, 
and I jump, it will convert my horizontal speed into vertical speed, and I'll kind of just float up in the air. Like a really big jump. And this save is important, too. That's, that's for later. That's for an even later load warp. And that was cool. <laughs> that was all the way up. And that's the first Oblivion Gate. And now we're going to help these guys kill some Daedra that are attacking this uh, little town here. And we have to kill them all. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Let's punch him. And it killed them all before he even got there. <laughs> We gotta talk to Martin, tell him that he's saved. I heard We need him to follow us. And he's coming with us. But first we're gonna go to Miskarkand. We gotta go to Miskarkand for the Great Welkin Stone. That Martin is gonna ask us for later. Uh, and also for another another important item that's gonna help us do a skip. About twenty minutes into the run. Maybe twenty five, I'm not really sure. I don't pay attention to the timer during the runs. So we just do some running, try not to die, fall damage. Every time we run off a little hill like that we get a little bit of hang time, because we're going so fast. Enter that door as fast as possible. Try not to touch those lamps. If you run into those lamps too fast, they will shoot you downward. And they will give you some fall damage. Hit that button. That opens the door over here. That we jump up to. And we continue onward into the bowels of Miskarkand. Keep going. Try not to die there. Sometimes that zombie will open the door for us. Okay. So I'm gonna quick save, I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna kill this lich here, and oh my goodness. First try, let's go. Okay. That was great. Okay, here's the uh, load warp. If I open that door and press escape, at the same time. It'll open the pause menu and open the door at the same time. And while it's open, I load a save. And I load the character from that save while I load the cell from where I'm at. So I loaded Wayne and Priory with the character that has the Vulcan Stone. And now I just kill these guys. And talk to, or let Joffrey talk to me actually. That's important. I don't talk to him. We should... We're gonna kill two more guys. I don't need that much skimmer. <laughs> then I'm gonna go Cloud River Temple. I just wanna go here to open this door. It's like a little cutscene or whatever. If you open it, it starts, and then we just go somewhere else. We're gonna go get Umbra. So, later in the main quest, we need a Daedric item. Martin's going to ask us for a Daedric item. And there's a little glitch you can do to uh, get a Daedric item here from Clavicus Vile at level 1. You're kind of like skipping half the quest by doing the second half of it early, before starting it. <laughs> so... We go get Umbra, and then we go bring it to him. And that staff that we just got, it's also handy for killing enemies fast. So, there's Umbra. Kill her, and we grab Umbra. And we load warp out. And I looked uh, towards that wall there, so that after the load warp I'd just be facing the door. 
because it also saves the direction you're looking when you make a save, so I always keep that in mind. So we're gonna go talk to a cat. You approached Meow. Yeah, there he is. Now we're gonna go talk to a dog. Specifically his butt, because dog butts don't talk. And we don't want dialogue. Now we're gonna go talk to Martin. Not much. There he is. And talk to Joffrey. You have proven. Tell him about Amy Lou Kings. I'm gonna run in here just to make a save. I'm gonna quick load out. And now we're gonna go collect some books. I'm over there. And there's a guy in here that has a book. And I just have to murder him. So I'm gonna run here, I'm gonna murder him. I'm gonna loot his body. And Good Boris boy. is here, he's gonna congratulate us on our murder. Thank you, Boris. Now we're gonna go to the Arcane University. I'm gonna wait just a little bit to make Tarmina show up. We have to talk to her. And she comes at like 7 or 8 a.m. So I'm gonna wait till 8 because 36 seems a little bit early here. Ah. Yep, there she is. It was Make a save for a load warping. And there's a little manipulation here, too. So, come here and talk to this guy. I leave, wait one hour, drink skooma for later. And I go in, I go out. What? And there he is. And he's thinks he already has the book, and he does. <laughs> I don't know how he had time to buy it. <laughs> he just went in and left. But now we have it. And that's that's all that matters. So, this is new. Kind of. It's uh, different from the last time it's at GDQ, so it's a little shortcut that I take. If you go turn that crank and open that door, and then come back out, and go into this guy's house. And you break into his house, break into his basement. He has a little shortcut to the sewer. And it's a lot faster. It saves like 10 seconds. And then we wait for Boris You're to show up. We teleport him down here. And we talk to him. All right. Tell him that we want to meet the sponsor. We get in the chair. And this is saddle storage. That's this is the another new skip. Saves a minute. That's for later. It's always for later. <laughs> you kill this guy when he opens the door. You see it when I get to it. So now we load warp out of there with the final book. And because I was early, I have to uh, do a little detour. I'm so fast that I'm always early, so I waste like 10 in-game minutes just by going here first, and then going here, because this is on a cycle. If I'm too early, I won't be able to activate it like I just did, and I'll have to stand there, and it's faster just to fast travel somewhere else first than just stand there. Uh, and there's some running here. <sighs> Gonna run to Lake Area's caverns and get the Mysterium Xarxes and jump over the water and try to get some optimal movement. Oh, nice! Straight up, we didn't get stuck. Kill that guy. Grab his key. Open the door. Run through. And I'm gonna run down, grab the book, yoink it from him. I'm gonna run, and I'm gonna run into this tunnel here, and I'm just gonna disappear. They're gonna come in here, they're gonna go, where'd he go? And I'm gonna be at Cloud Ruler Temple. That's where I'll be. 
so I just turn. Ah. Talk to Martin. I hope Joffrey's that. outside. We go talk to him. I hope Martin. Got a couple of enemies after us. Let me just quick save and quick load. They'll go away. So Joffrey told us to go kill two random people, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go kill two random people, and we're gonna wait for him to be in their house. They're gonna be in their house at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. just seems to be the magic number for when NPCs are in the exact right spot you need them to be. So, here we go, 7 a.m. Oh, no. Make a save there. That's important. I'm gonna kill these guys as fast as possible. You steal the key and then we go in the basement and we find this piece of paper that retroactively justifies our double homicide and we're out of there and Joffrey's gonna congratulate us on that uh, now we wait till two though because we want Joffrey to be in this room so one two there he is. You Hooray, you murdered him. I will send cool, I all right. Okay. Now we give Joffrey the thing we got earlier I've just for Martin, and then we talk to Joffrey. You should run to now we're gonna go meet Captain Bird. He's gonna have an oblivion gate for us. And we're gonna show him how to close it. Thanks for coming. Okay, let's go. Let's go close this gate. I'll show you how to close it. So, to close this gate, you just make a quick save, and you come down here. You load the save you made at the old Oblivion Gate. You load warp through this little door here. And a lockpick screen will pop up. You just smash the auto attempt button. And you turn around, you open the door, and it's closed. Yep, that's how you do it. It was an honor. Uh, hope you learned something, bird. And now, we're gonna go do Sanker Tor Skip. So, I yeah, talk to Martin first. Be sure. and Joffrey's outside. Good work. Good work. We tell him about the armor. Now, this is the closest place to Sanker Tor, so we go here. Because we don't have that place discovered yet. We're just gonna have to run up some hills. So this is why we got the staff. I got to sink or tour. Or I guess not yet. There's a little bit of running to do. A little bit of jumping to make it over those rocks. Just keep going. And there's a scream and jump you can get here. It's a little bit hard though. It doesn't really save that much time, maybe like two seconds. It's fun to get though. Okay, here we are. Sanker Tor. Just run through these tunnels as sharply as you can. Turn those corners. Trying to get stuck on little rocks and stuff. Run up the stairs. You don't have to kill the skeletons anymore because you just skip it. So I'm gonna bring out the staff here. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna quick save. I'm gonna click and press E. And it's gonna shoot and I'm running forward. And I just have to knock the armor off that pedestal there. And I have to grab it. And I have the Staff of Storms. It's a little bit harder with the Staff of Storms. But it's fine. It, it'll work. Let's see. 
There we go. That's Sanker Tor Skip. <laughs> that saves a minute. That saves an entire minute of just killing skeletons. What do you my program and now we tell them that we got the armor. Oop, got a little stuck. And now we're gonna go talk to Fiona from Shrek. Cause she's in this game. And there she is. Greeting. Greetings. And now we load warp out of there. We disappear. Teleport to the church. And we're gonna teleport Fiona to the church by waiting. There she is. I will call Let the battle begin. There's gonna be a battle here. It's gonna be the hardest battle I've ever fought. We just have to wait like five hours for it. Pretty bright nighttime, actually. Okay. We push Martin to his spot so we can start talking. I'm gonna heal up a little bit. Uh, if you block and you spam your spells, you actually uh, cast spells faster. And that's useful for, you know, stuff like Kavach, where you have to, like, kill all the enemies fast, and stuff like this, or I'm gonna fight some enemies. I think that's the only two places it's really, really useful. I'm sure there's a couple things that I'm forgetting about. And we need a lot less skooma than we used to, so now I'm not over encumbered. I can just walk around. I don't need to drink skooma to get to the next place. I can just walk over there. And it's always like waves of like three enemies out of each portal. And they're easy. They stick one fireball, one punch, and these guys just take one fireball. I mean, uh, it's the hardest battle I've ever fought. It's so tough. I don't know how I'm able to do it. Let me drink a little bit, it's gonna go faster. Let me just run back and forth to these portals. Kill them as fast as possible. It's pretty much an auto-scroller. It's still important to kill him fast, though. You don't want to accidentally kill Martin. I'm going to let them handle that. Let's push Martin back. Let's do that. Yeah, there we go. third gate. It's opening. Make a couple quick saves, just just be safe. It's good to be safe. I don't want to accidentally kill Martin. Or two of anybody else. Yeah, let's push Martin to safety. He's not even wearing his armor that we just got for him. There's the great gate with all the staff. And just like the other gate that we showed Bird how to close, we lockpick it. And it's it's gone. Oh, and I pre-fired a fireball. I'm gonna shoot someone. <laughs> Talk to Martin. We want a quick save out of there. And 
back at Cloud Ruler Temple. Okay, so we're going to wait for Martin, and he's going to open the portal to Paradise for us. And we're going to go defeat the big bad Mankar Cameron. That's like the leader of all the Mythic Dawn. I'm going to teleport him to his spot by waiting. Drink some skimbo before we go in here. So, Paradise Skip. That's coming up pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run into that tunnel there. And I'm just going to turn around and I'm going to load warp. So I load this save that I made in the chair. And that stores our coordinates. This is saddle storage. That chair is right at the end of paradise in the same coordinates. And if we load warp with that save, we just teleport to the end. Oh, nice. First try, too. Because for some reason, a save where you're in a chair, the game wants to put you in the coordinates of that chair. Whereas with a regular load warp, it doesn't. It just puts you wherever the door is. Wait for a pop-up. You found and now we can talk to him. Cool. Now we're at the end of the game. A couple little cutscenes and it's done. And here's a little thing I found. You can do a load warp here. And I'm just going to wait for him just to make him... Here. Everything is ready for Martin's arrival. I've been exp Okay. Martin. Quick save when he starts talking. And we load warp through that door. And now instead of having to run to the door, we're already here. Gentlemen. And we're watching the cutscene from outside of the room. And you can skip their dialogue by quick saving and quick loading. There's the last one. And now we go to the end of the game. The very end. Do some parkour. And I just wait for Martin. And it's going to jump to one. There it is. Talk to him. Race him to his spot and wait to teleport him. I do. And time. There's the run. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. See you guys later.